you mentioned about the myelin in the development in, and it was easier to form the patterns. Uh, I'm, I'm curious if there's any biohacking uh, because I know we have still some plasticity in the brain. We, we can rewire, rewire our brain and make new habits. Are there any diets or supplements that make that easier to sort of remyelinate or recircuit? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking like fish oil or something like that. Um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know what? I have this fish oil in the refrigerator and I'll take it as soon as we finish. Um, uh, so I, I only have, I, I have to believe in, I don't know. Um, I do not think so because we need the myelin just to repair the circuits we have. And if we had a way to repair these circuits, we would be doing it, you know? So I don't think so. So this whole idea that we have neuroplasticity throughout life, it's true, but it has been overhyped because it allows coaches and, um, you know, uh, various magical cure-all people to help sell this. So they're using this one study that shows that we grow, grow new neurons, but those new neurons are not connected to anything. So the way I use it is if you distinguish, if you were trying to travel through the Amazon forest and you had a choice between a highway or slashing a new trail with a machete, you would take the highway because it's so hard to slash a trail with a machete. But then you would discover that the highway goes to a yucky city that you don't really want to be in. So you get out your machete and you slash a trail to some beautiful spot in the jungle. But then the next day, the trail is grown over and it's just as hard and it's so much work to slash a new trail in the jungle. And that's what it's like to try to build a new pathway in your brain. But once you understand why it's hard and why it's valuable, then you're willing to put in the effort. So it will always be hard and you will never have more than a little dirt trail. But if you slash the same <laughs> path, if you slash the same path every day, a trail will establish and it will not be as big as the big highway, but it will be enough for you to be able to make the better choice on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. That's reminding me of the book, 10% Happier, where, where he's saying, you know, it, it did make a difference, but uh, it's, it's that I'm 10% happier. So it's like, it could be dramatic uh, on occasion, but, <laughs> but it's not like you're, you're totally changed. Okay, that's a good- uh, Yeah, and if you are always running after some utopian dramatic changes, you may not do the things that will make you 10% happier, which will aggregate if you keep doing that. Yeah, if you keep, if you chop a new path in a different direction every day, it's not going to add up. <laughs> <laughs>